Hi, this is Dr. Don. I take a few minutes and show you how you can use ChatGPT, one of the free AI tools that's out there, to help you find code or write code to solve problems that you need to solve. Here is uh, a view of my Posit Cloud workspace. I've loaded already the Gapminder library, excuse me, package under the library that has the data I need. And then I created a data frame, Gapminder underscore DF, from that data in the Gapminder package. And you can see it over here in the environment. So my instructions that I'm given is to make a graph plotting GDP per capita, which is one of the variables, and life expectancy using another variable for all the years for the United States, Italy, and Germany. And it's got a note there by filtering the country variable. Make GDP per capita the X variable and life expectancy the Y variable. And again, make sure you filter that. So I'm just going to take these instructions, copy them, control C on a PC, I guess command C on a Mac, and jump over here to ChatGPT, which I've already opened up. And I want to just start having a conversation. I have a data frame get minder DF. I need to create a graph using these instructions. He also uh, load all needed PACK packages. So let's run that. Okay, we got an answer there, but I didn't tell it I wanted to use R. So for some reason, it tends to default to Python. So what I want to do down here is say, okay, but use R code instead. Okay, let's look at this code here. It said we need the tidyverse packages, and that's that code. And then it shows how to filter, and then to create the plot. So I'm going to copy this, and then we'll go over into Posit Cloud. Okay, I'm in Posit Cloud. Let me drop down here. I've got an empty code chunk I've inserted. So let me just paste this in. And I'm just going to run it as is and see what happens. I'm going to go up here and find the Run button. And let's see. It seems to have run. And there we go. We've got a plot of those three countries. So they've been filtered. It's got a, a dot plot. I think I'll change it to be a line plot, but everything's there. It gave me all the thing I need. Let's go back to ChatGPT, and I'm just going to say, great, please update to use a line plot. Okay, and just by inspection, looking at the only thing that's changed here is geom line plus up here in the first one, it was geom point. So I'm just going to copy, instead of pasting the whole thing, I'm just going to copy the geom line, control C, go over here into Posit Cloud, 
and paste over here and now run the code again and there we have my plot so just to give you an idea of how helpful it can be uh, to use posit cloud or one of the AI tools to help you with code so you can focus on answering your questions and thinking about that the types of analysis you need instead of fighting with the code again I hope this helps